All right, guys, I'm going to keep you posted on everything. First things first, I have a leak of fuel issue. I knew I needed to do brakes, uh, front steering, that sort of thing. I had, there's an exhaust leak that's kind of... Um, there's just an exhaust leak that I need to fix too and some interior stuff. But recently, I've been getting a lot of strong fuel smell. And I finally found out what it was after a long trip, uh, about an hour each way yesterday with uh, Sawyer. So we're going to take a look at that. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to try and replace, see what I got to do. It's not pretty underneath. I understand that. Long story short, I was getting fuel just basically dripping out of here, this side really well. Um, so I think either, I'm hoping this is leaking or this joint right here is bad. I'm hoping that it's not this line right here, because if so, I'll have to replace it. I found some replacement lines. They do do, um, they do, they do um, rubber and stainless steel lines. So I don't know what I'll do if I have to replace this, but I'll get that worked out. This size looks all wallowed out, so this is gonna be a bitch to replace, but we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and knock it out. I have a new one, like I said, I'm just gonna test it out, see if that works. Hopefully it's this that was leaking and not this joint, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, also, it helps if you write the date and the mileage on when you change these out on the side of this. It helps you and the next owner, so just a helpful tip. So when I swap this out, I'm gonna get a marker and write that out here so that uh, people have knowledge. So there you go. We'll see if I can get this done. This boogered up side really worries me, but we'll uh, we'll try and make it work. Also pick Shea up some fuel, 17 by nine wheels, which are actually pretty cool. They need a little bit of touch up, but they'll be awesome. Change out our stock 18s, go to a 17 inch setup. They got a little bit of rock rash on them, but again, I got them for 500 bucks and these are like $300 each, so. I think that was a good score. I'm looking forward to getting some 35s on here and we'll toss those on when we can. All right, got the new Napa Gold one on there. Um, this side, I knew it was gonna give me trouble, so I actually did this side first, popped that off, and then just unscrewed this from here because I didn't know if this would spin. That worked out perfect, got it on there. One thing I did notice was this side was loose, and so I'm hoping that's why the fuel was coming out. So I made sure to snug both sides really well this time. Um, as I mentioned, I like to put this on there, kind of helps out. So I know the 162,000 miles, today's day, that's when this was replaced. Again, it might come off, but hopefully it shouldn't. It's a permanent marker. It'll help out the next guy or me in the future. One thing I also did notice besides this being loose was the old one. It's super windy. So let me pop out real quick. But that's what that, uh, that's what that looks like. So here's that old one. And like I said, that's where I think it was leaking out of. But also, you can't really see in there, but... This thing was super clogged. When I pulled it off, um, it, like black, like real thick black was coming out of here. So I'm wondering if maybe this was really clogged up because this vehicle hadn't been running for a long time. And uh, and so basically it was causing pressure to come out where it was loose and maybe off the bottom of here. So I'm hoping that solves the issue. Um, we'll go from there. Like I said, it was leaking out pretty good. I'll show you a video of, of what it looked like when it was coming out. Well, I can say I found my fuel leak. But that's the fuel filter change on the uh, the Tahoe. Um, I got to work on some other stuff, but there you go. Keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching.